Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. We got a really special beer here today. And from one of my research uh, on Beer Advocate and Rate Beer, they've done several different versions of this particular one, number three. And what this is, is Hangar 24 Craft Brewery. This is their barrel roll, number three. And this one particular one, Paris sent me this. Uh, this is a Russian Imperial Stout brewed with maple syrup and aged in bourbon barrels. And this is a 2014 edition. I could not, I can find this particular beer listed on both sides, but it's not this version. Uh, they have the three listed, uh, the number three listed on both sides, but the Beer Advocate has it listed at 16.5%. And Rate Beer has it at 13 and 8.8. .8. Neither one of them have uh, the uh, the right ABV listed in the uh, in the information. So I don't know what's going on with this. They made several different versions, and I couldn't find it on either side. This particular one, guys, is 18.9 percent. This is a monster, and it's in a monster bottle too. This is a 750 milliliter with a cork in a cage on top of it. Uh, another one of the beers that I was trying to keep for a while. My good friend Parrish out in California sent me this beer. I've done a, several Hangar 24 beers, but nothing of this magnitude. And this is at 18.9%. This beer will keep 20 years or more. So, uh, Parrish, thank you, my brother, for sending this to me. Uh, I didn't want to quite review it this early. I wanted to keep it for, for a while. Anyway, it's a 2014 edition. I wanted to keep it five or ten years anyway, but we're going to go ahead and review it. Uh, like I said, and this is a, a special bottle here. This is bottle number 7519 out of 11,220. So they did 11,220 bottles of this version. That's quite a lot. So they made a big batch. Hangar 24 must be a pretty good sized brewery. To be able to produce that many 750 milliliter bottles, that's quite a lot of, uh, of Russian Imperial Stout aged in the bourbon barrels, uh, along with the maple syrup added. So, very very nice. I got to this is going to be kind of sweet, but it's going to be kind of boozy, being this fresh, a 2014 edition. Uh, like I said, another reason why I wanted to sell it. And he sent me another uh, one of their beers that I'm going to probably do before too long because these beers have been refrigerated and I'm going to try to get the refrigerated beer reviewed. Uh, I might try to save some of them I have in the closet to transport to Florida eventually. But all the ones that have been refrigerated, I'm probably going to try to review them instead of trying to pack them in a cooler and, and get them all the way to Florida and keep them chilled and all that. I'll just start over when I get there. Anyway. <clears throat> Great big beer, Hangar 24, when I remember that they, they do some really tasty stuff. And this is a monster bottle with a monster ABV. Uh, and they've got some stuff written on the, on the back of the bottle. I'm not going to try to read that to you. Pugachev's Cobra, that's what it's got right here. And it says the month is December and the year is 2014. So this is not quite a year old in the bottle. This is November of 2015, so, uh, and I've had it for a while. I think he sent it to me uh, uh, six, eight, ten months ago, and uh, it's been in the fridge ever since. So, uh, 
we're going to go ahead and, and, and pop this cage and cork out of this one and see what it brings. Uh, over, as a matter of fact, uh, Rape Beer has a listing here on the bottom here. The 2011 was 16 and a half, 2012 was 15.8, 2013 was 13.8, and in 2014 it's 18.9, which is what this one is. So they're closer to having the right information than Beer Advocate is. Uh, commercial description says the brainchild of Victor Pavica, not for the faint of heart. Pilot suddenly raises the aircraft nose to near vertical before dropping back in attack mode. Get ready for an assault on your senses and a chance of Russian Imperial South, this rich black beauty with a thick caramel head is bursting with aromas of chocolate, vanilla, oak, bourbon, licorice, and dark fruit, while flavors of chocolate covered plum, sweet malt, bourbon, and roasted coffee explode on your palate. Three different dark roasted malts and rich maple syrup are combined in a truly unique brewing process to create a complexity and depth. Once fermented, it's then aged for eight months in freshly emptied bourbon barrels. First use, first run. This powerful concoction is designed to be enjoyed now with friends or cellared to perfection and savored in the years to come. And that's what I was planning on doing, but all our plans have changed over the last several months with uh, with everything going on here. So let's uh, let's go over to the food pairings, and the food pairings is going to be your typical Russian imperial style, which says chocolate. <laughs> it goes well with your chocolate dishes, of course, since it's a Russian imperial style, and it usually says digestive or, or dessert. 18.9%, this is a meal by itself, that, that much ABV. And, frankly, honest with you guys, uh, this is a 750 milliliter. I'm going to pour half of it into my glass and pour her a glass. But at 18.9%, y'all probably get a chuckle when I come back for the final chug because I'll probably be shit-faced or have a, a serious buzz going on. Uh, this is not for the faint of heart. This is not a gulper. This is definitely an easy sipper. I'm uh, probably going to fire up a stuggy with this to, to let him come up to room temperature and uh, sip on it because you don't want to chug a beer like this. I guarantee you this was a 20 to $25 bottle, if not more, uh, bottle of beer. At 18.9%, can you realize the amount of malt that it takes to brew a beer of that magnitude? I don't think I've had anything this big from anybody else other than Avery. And I think this may top them. I think I may have done something a little bigger from them. But from any other brewery, uh, this is a monster beer. 18.9%. This is a 19% beer. This is, this is a six-pack in a bottle. It's a monster beer. really hate to open it up. I really do, but I'm going to. Uh, the glass wires, pint backer, nylon tumbler, mug, style, sidel, tulip oversized wine glass, uh, I'm going to use my favorite glass for this one, guys, and this beer can be selling for 20 years or more. Paris, thank you, my brother. All right, hangar 24. See if I've got enough strength to get this out of here. And I hope it don't spew. Ooh, it's in there tight, guys. I can't get it to move. A beer of 18.9%, very thick, very rich, very sticky, and that's another reason. I can feel the stickiness on the top of the bottle here, I'm trying to get the cork out of it. I mean, my fingers are sticking to it. Very sticky, very thick beer. Nice little pop. Very sticky. Down straight down the center. Look at the head on this. I'm not expecting very much head for a 19% beer. Wow. Wow. Good finger of head on a 19% beer.
Amazing. Amazing. Up into the light, there is absolutely none, not even in thin part of the glass. Guys, it's pitch black, dark as night. About a finger of head, don't think it's going to stick around. My fingers are still sticky from the top of the bottle. Let's get a nose on it. It's definitely got the boozy bourbon barrel nose on it. Like I said, this is probably going to be pretty hot, uh, being a, a less than a year old at 19%. The booziness, uh, the bourbon is just overpowering everything, guys. I got a feeling it's really going to have a strong alcohol taste to it. Rich roasted malt, dark fruits, caramel, toffee, coffee. I'm not getting a lot of chocolate. It's just so fresh right out of the bottle. It's just the booziness. We've got to let it breathe a little bit. But the alcohol is definitely there. Definitely know that this is a monster beer. Well, that last whiff, I got some licorice. Hence, some licorice in there. Well, that's that time. Like I said, y'all probably get a chuckle when I come back. I'll probably be all shit faced. Cheers. This is a Godzilla of a beer. There's no burning or anything. Like I said, the more this sets in the glass, the more it breathes, uh, the, the more it's going to open up. And the, and the more it comes to room temperature, the more it's going to be less boozy. It's, the flavors are probably going to come out a little bit more. But on the nose, man, it is this first run bourbon barrels it is just off the chain on the on, on the on the bourbon and the alcohol. Definitely a sipper, guys. Chocolate. My fingers are even sticking together. Where we had both hands on it. Very sticky top of the bottle. Very thick, very syrupy. It's a very nice beer. It's a very young beer. It's a very hot beer uh, being less than a year old for a 19 percenter. Prime candidate for seller at least five years. 10, 15 or even 20. This beer is going to keep for more than 20 years. So Parrish, thank you brother for sending it to me. Uh, I'm going to quit flapping my gums, and uh, I'm going to go sip on this and smoke a cigar. It's probably taking me 45 minutes to an hour to, to drink this, because uh, like I said, I want to enjoy it. I want to savor it. I want to let it come up to room temperature, get all the flavors that's coming out of it. And by that time, the booze will kick in, and I'll be about as dumb as a rock. So I'll be back so if I can talk. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here, sipping on it for about uh, close to an hour now. Uh, great beer. It's an awesome beer. It's a little hot, it's a little boozy being this fresh. Uh, this is a prime candidate, like I told you earlier, to sell this beer for at least at least five years, if not ten or even longer. Uh, it's a great beer. It's a great beer. It's probably the best beer that I've had from Hangar 24. So Paris, thanks again my brother for, for sending me this beer. Uh, I wanted to save it just a little longer than what we've done here, but with everything going on, like I said earlier, it's uh, it it had to happen. So, and it's uh, pretty chilly outside. The wind's blowing about 40 miles an hour. So, uh, a nice evening, final beer of the evening, uh, kind of beer that you can sip on uh, before dinner or with a strong dish with dinner, or even after dinner. Uh, as an aperitif or a digestive, uh, this is a this is a big Godzilla of a beer at 19 percent, 18.9. So uh, it's as close as 19 percent as you can get there. Very tasty though. Uh, 
now that it's warmed up, all the aspects of the beer are coming out. It's not quite as boozy as it was as fresh right out of the bottle. All the flavors are there. The, the, the bourbon is there for sure. The alcohol is there for sure, being this fresh. So it's not even been in a bottle a year. Uh, I would definitely recommend this, this beer to sell up for at least two plus five years minimum uh, before you decided to pop the cork and cage off of this one and, and drink it. It's, uh, it's, it's going to mellow out a little bit more over time than it is this hot out of the bottle. So, uh, great beer. And I'm sure, uh, I didn't buy this beer, Paris sent it to me, I'm sure this is a very expensive beer to, to purchase. Even if you see it on the shelf, this is probably a $25 bottle of beer. Especially being a 750 milliliter like this one is and aged in, in bourbon barrels. So, very pricey beer, I'm sure. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't purchase this beer, but I'm sure it's not a cheap beer to purchase. This is a special occasion beer. This is not something you want to just pop uh, on a whim and, uh, and chug it all down by yourself. <coughs> this is a beer to share, especially with this much beer in a bottle. Uh, and that's what I did. I shared the other half with the other half. And uh, it's a big beer. It's a monster beer. Almost 19%. So... Uh, with that being said, let's do the final chug on this one, and then we'll do the grade. Oh, it's a wonderful smelling beer now. Been in the glass about an hour. Oh, man, the dark fruits, uh, the caramel, the toffee, the bourbon, the uh, hints of vanilla. A little bit of coffee, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of vanilla. Uh, some woodiness from the uh, bourbon barrels, everything you want in a, in a, in a uh, Russian Imperial Stout bourbon barrel aged. Wow, delicious! I'm a chug. Don't want to leave none of that. That is freaking awesome. I can't think of a single thing that I would say to change this beer other than aging it a little longer than what I have here. Uh, that will let all those flavors come combine and come together uh, a little bit better. And the booziness may subside a little bit over time. Like I said, a, a great candidate to, 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 to pick up and, and sell it for at least, at least five years. So... With that being said, guys, this is a 10 for me. It was delicious. It was awesome. It was outstanding. It's world class. Wow. Over to, uh, to uh, Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 94 in her outstanding range. That number is exceptionally low to me. It is an outstanding beer. It's a world class beer, guys. It's definitely one to pick up and sell her, like I said, at least five years. At least five years, and uh, bring it out for a special occasion. Uh, it's uh, definitely uh, uh, one you want to savor and, and share with multiple friends. A uh, 750 milliliter bottle. This is enough for at least four people to enjoy very well. So, over to uh, Rate Beer. Rate Beer has this at ooh, imagine that 100 overall and 97 in the style. I would agree with that. It's uh, it is a 100 beer. It's definitely a beer, even th even though it's going to be expensive beer, to pick up and sell her for about five years and have a have it with some special friends, uh, at least four of them, and, and that you just want to get into Hammer Lane and whew, get your buzz on, and, and I've got my buzz on, no doubt. Final beer of the evening. I'm done. So with that being said. Uh, 90s from 94 from them and 100 from these guys. It is a 100 beer in my opinion. Uh, the bourbon is there, a little hot, being only a year in the bottle. But it's great beer. It is a great beer. World class, wonderful beer, exceptional beer. Definitely uh, one to pick up and, and and put it in your cellar here. Uh, if you can uh, hang on to it that long. So, with that being said, guys, if you've had this one, this is Hangar 24, barrel roll number three. 
This is the one that's done with the maple syrup and, and aged in the bourbon barrels. Wow. Exceptional. Outstanding. This is the one you want to write home back. It'll blow your hair back and blow your socks off. It will. Blow my hair back. Even with the wind out there blowing 40 miles an hour, it'll blow your hair back inside. Alright guys, if you've had it, let me know what you think. I don't think we'll get anything better than this with the tan on this one. But we're going to look in the fridge. Come on back tomorrow. Let's go look together. See you then.